This is a 2020 Toyota Prius XLE all-wheel drive E. Today we are with our friends at Heinz Toyota of Mankato. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a ride. ride. And today, Nathan, what are we taking a look at? We are taking a look at a 2020 Toyota Prius XLE all-wheel drive E. E, that's right. So, but before we do, if you want to keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you like cool collector cars, and you want to know about all the new technology that's built into these vehicles, take a minute to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell notification up above so you never miss a video. That's right. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. So today we're in the 2020 Prius XLE all-wheel drive E. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's a, it's a very nice ride. Um, and we're just kind of going through town here and it's very comfortable. It's really easy to maneuver. It's got a really tight turning radius. So just, you know, pulling over to park in a parking lot, on the city streets, um, moving around traffic. It's, it's just very nimble, very easy. Um, it was really easy to get in and out. It's, it, it is slightly higher than um, the, the non all wheel drive Prius, uh, but only by about 0.2 inches, but it's very easy to get in and out. And then everything in the cab is just really easy to reach. Um, all of your, um, your dashboard basically has uh, four screens uh, besides the infotainment screen. But all there's lots of physical buttons. They're all easy to reach. You have lots of steering wheel controls um, that you can access. Uh, almost all that from the steering wheel. Uh, so really nice. And then to top it off with you know as far as parking goes, um, you do have um, uh, auto parking or auto help for parallel parking. Oh, okay. So um, you can turn that feature on if you want it. And uh, yeah, just overall really nice. I, I really like the way it handles here in town. All right, in a minute here, we're gonna let Rob drive, and then we'll get his impressions. And check the acceleration. Drones a little bit, but you know, you hear the engine kicking in, but you've also got the uh, the battery kicking in with it. So it's it's not slow. It's just not. Um, I thought it would be almost like golf cart fast, where it would just kind of set you back in back in your seat, but it, it actually isn't. Still, it's still plenty fast though. But anyway though, you know, it is fairly quiet in here because after all the design is kind of made to cheat the wind so you wouldn't expect any wind turbulence and, and wind noise. However, that being said, you do get on certain roads, you do get tire noise coming in. But, uh, and you hear a little bit of the wind whistling by, but no worse than, you know, most cars. It's, it's not a big deal. Um, your acceleration was fairly quick. We talked about that. Inside the fit and finish, everything is nice. Uh, panel gaps are small. Everything's uh, nice, soft touch materials where you expect them to be. You've got the black high gloss piano finish around the entertainment and around the console. Uh, the one thing I don't like about that is because it is a super high gloss finish. I'm just worried about you know what it's going to look like in a few years of living with this car because it's going to scratch up and things like that so I'm not quite sure but it looks good uh, it's all black interior it looks good on this white car outside I like the visibility as well and uh, you know the things the thing has a lot of safety features and of course this does have a really nice uh, grippy steering wheel and it's got a heated steering wheel yeah. so I like that <laughs> overall very nice very comfortable like I said this is only the second time I've ever been ridden in a Prius, but this is the first time I've ever actually driven one. So this is kind of a treat. So coming up next is our my review uh, with specs and everything on the outside of the vehicle. And then later, 
Stay tuned, Nathan's gonna take you for a tour on the inside of this vehicle. And we're also gonna cut a separate video and put the link down below and we'll tag that when Nathan gets to that part in a little scroll that comes across up top. Uh, you'll be able to see that there, we're gonna cut a whole complete separate video of the infotainment screen as well. What's the first car you think of when you hear the word hybrid? 20 bucks says it's this car. You know, if fuel economy is your top priority, then the 2020 Prius should definitely be on top of your list. You know, the Prius has always been more about efficiency than performance, and the current versions maintain that tradition. All models are rated at 50 miles per gallon or more by the EPA, and its functional cabin and versatile hatchback design add to the efficiency theme. For 2020, the fourth generation Prius is largely a carryover, having received a modest facelift last model year. The El Echo, LE, and XLE models now have a larger 7 inch touchscreen, while the limited models get an 11.6 inch screen. Also new for 2020 is Amazon Alexa support, uh, also support for Apple CarPlay and Toyota's Safety Connect. This is the 2020 Toyota Prius XLE all-wheel drive E. This car is stickered at 31,083 and it's presented here in blizzard pearl with a black interior. Now it's powered by a 1.8 liter four-cylinder aluminum double overhead cam, 16 valve engine with variable valve timing with intelligence. And it also has EV, echo, and power modes and it produces 96 horsepower and 105 pound-foot of torque. The net hybrid system is 121 horsepower. There is a 600 volt maximum electric motor which produces 71 horsepower and 120 pound-foot of torque. Now the all-wheel drive E model has a 6.5 amp hour nickel metal hydride battery pack. Uh, this battery packs better under colder conditions where all-wheel drive is necessary. Now for all-wheel drive, the Prius has a small electric motor mounted to its rear axle, which delivers seven horsepower and 40 pound-foot of torque, providing just enough power to help move the back tires through snow. Now, there is a continuously variable transmission, a CVT, with electronic on-demand compact all-wheel drive, and that would be that electric motor on the rear axle. This vehicle is rated at, as a SULEV Advanced Technology Partial Zero Emission Vehicle. It's a lot to say. Now out front we do have the uh, bi-LED projector beam uh, low and high beam headlights with the auto on feature. There are also LED daytime running lights with auto on feature as well as integrated fog lights and LED accent lighting you see here. Uh, there is optional adaptive front lighting system with auto leveling headlights, so that's a cool add-on that you can get with this. There's also uh, active grill shutter. You, uh, you do have, up top, you do have the rain sensing variable intermittent windshield wipers. It does also have the black front windshield trim, body colored front bumper with the black bumper insert, and you do have the black grill as well now let's take a look along the side along the side we see 15 inch yes 15 inch five spoke alloy wheels with two-tone wheel covers uh and uh p195 65 r 15 tires there are color keyed outside door handles and this does have the easy push button lock and unlock body colored power heated side manual fold mirrors you also have the light tinted glass it does have the black side window trim and the suspension is uh, independent McPherson strut front with stabilizer bar and uh, double wishbone rear suspension with coil over or excuse me with coil springs. There are power assisted ventilated front brakes and solid rear disc brakes with integrated regenerative braking. This is a hybrid. So when you put on the brakes, it does put power back into the battery. It also does have remote keyless entry, illuminated entry, uh, and it also has what uh, Toyota calls Safety Connect, which includes emergency assistance. Uh, it has a stolen vehicle locator. It has roadside assistance and automatic collision notification. Now the Toyota Safety Sense includes pre-collision pre -collision system with uh, pedestrian detection, 
lane departure alert with steering assist, and I saw that how that worked earlier uh, as I was trying to find other buttons. It does have automatic, automatic high beams and full speed dynamic radar cruise control. One of my favorite new features on cars. Let's take a look out back. Okay, out back you do have a body colored rear bumper with black rub strip uh, on the uh, fascia and it does have LED stop lights and tail lights. There is also a lip spoiler. You do have the blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert and it does have the integrated uh, backup camera uh, that shows up on the inside display and it does have a fixed window with fixed interval wiper and defroster. There is also on the back side you do have the black rear window trim. Now it does have also, as you see up top, the color key roof mounted shark fin antenna. Woo, -hoo, that's kind of cool, but all cars have that nowadays. Taking a look inside, lots of room. You have a cargo volume of 24.6 cubic feet with a maximum cargo volume with both seats folded down of 62.7 cubic feet. Now this vehicle does not have a spare tire. It does have the spare tire mobility kit. All right. Let's talk about the dimensions. Okay, dimensions. The width is 69.3 inches. The front track is 60.2 inches. The rear track is 60.6 inches. Overall length is 180 inches. Its height, 58.1 inches, and it rides on a wheelbase of 106.3 inches. The front overhang is 37.8 inches. The rear overhang is 36 inches and it does have a ground clearance of 5.3 inches. Now it also has a coefficient of drag of 0.24. It has a turning circle diameter, curb to curb, of 33.5 feet, and its curb weight is 3,220 pounds. It also has a 10.6 gallon fuel tank. Okay, so on our spade scale, uh, safety, it does have vehicle stability control, traction control, anti-lock brake system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, and smart stop technology. As far as price goes, the Prius uh, ranges from a price of 24,200 up to 32,375 starting price, and then you add your options and stuff. Appearance. Well, they say beauty is in the high, be, eye of the beholder. Uh, all of the lines and bulges are designed to help you cheat the wind as much as possible to obtain the very best possible economy. And, of course, the Prius always has screamed hybrid. Now, dependability. The limited warranty covers three years, 36,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers five years, 60,000 miles. And the hybrid components are covered for eight years, 100,000 miles. There's also complimentary maintenance, which is covered for two years or 25,000 miles. Now, economy uh, fuel mileage is 52 city, 48 highway, and 50 combined. So, now Nathan's going to take you on a tour of the interior and show you all the fun stuff packed into this 2020 Toyota Prius XLE all-wheel drive E. Take it away, Nate. I'm right here. <laughs> All right, starting on the inside here with the driver's door, we have some really nice soft text material. And then you've got your uh, four window switches. These are auto up and down on the front, auto down, but not auto up in the rear. And you have your window lockout and your lock on lock buttons, and then your mirror control here, which is a rotary knob for left and right. All right, the seats are soft text as well, and they are very, very nice. Uh, they just, they, they look really nice and uh, they are very comfortable they're nicely bolstered on the side and then on the bottom right here so they have a really nice fit when you sit in them and the driver's side is a manual six-way adjusting so you got your two knobs here this is to raise and lower the seat this is to uh, recline and then of course you have your button here to slide the seat forward or backwards okay uh, moving on up here you've got your uh, fuel door button release you've got your uh, hood release and then moving on up here you have got your bright and dimness for your dashboard control your lights dashboard lights and then you have your parking assist right here your traction control on or off and then your auto lights switch right here okay now uh, moving on up 
Just give you a general overview here. The dashboard is really nice looking. Uh, it's typical for a Prius with the center dash there, uh, but it's really, really nicely laid out. Um, and then you get the infotainment screen down there, and we'll get to some of those features in a minute. Just give you kind of a general look here. All right, well, let's step in and see what else we have. All right, starting out with the steering wheel, basically on the left here, you've got your media controls as well as your voice command, phone off, phone on, and your trip button. And then over on the right here, these cursors will control your driver's information screen as well as a back button. And then your heated steering wheel uh, lane assist and then your uh, distance uh, gap indicator for uh, automatic or dynamic cruise control. Over here, you on your stock on the left here, you do have auto lights. This also comes with auto high beam. And then down here on the right side is your cruise control, which is very typical for Toyotas. Works the same way as it did before. And then of course you have your windshield wipers over here. The steering wheel is also a manual tilt and telescope and the lever for that is underneath right where kind of my hand is there. All right, so moving up to the center dash, basically what you have is three LCD displays, one, two, and three. And then the fourth area is for dummy buttons, like where you're, uh, when you turn cruise control on, when you have your heat steering wheel on, all those lights come up there, okay? The, uh, the first screen basically stays as it is, giving you fuel, uh, temperature, outside temperature, speed, and your odometer. And then the middle one is the one that you can change all sorts of information on. The right one is your uh, drive selector. And then again, the right is your dummy lights. Okay, moving on down here. I do like how they've put the hazards right in the middle. Very obvious, big button. I like that. The uh, infotainment screen is a seven inch screen and it is touch, but there's also just a plethora of manual buttons that you can use to control everything as well. Uh, it does have six speakers. New in 2020, it is Apple CarPlay uh, capable as well as Amazon Alexa capable. All right, moving on down here, you have got a single zone auto climate control with all of your buttons right here, a nice LCD display right there. And then moving down a little bit further, you've got your gear selector and you've got the park button, it's a push park button. And then you've got three different drive modes and you've got your EV mode, which operates as long as you're uh, at a slower speed and you're not using the accelerator very much. Down here is a nice feature that I like in addition to having that heated steering wheel is the wireless charger for your phone and my phone is a large size one and inside of a case and it fits very comfortably. The interesting thing to note is that it does have an on off button right here. So you can actually turn it off or turn it on. Now in addition to that, the front seats have two stage heating a low setting or a high setting, and those are physical buttons, so you don't have to worry about going into your infotainment screen. Okay, down here we have two cup holders. You can see both those, there we go. And then again, it is open in the middle here, so if you want to lay, say, a smartphone in there or something, you could do that as well. Okay, now, right back here, see if you can see this, there we go. Right back here, you do have a 12 volt, 120 watt uh, pl cigarette style plug-in. And then you have a uh, media connection for a cable for Apple CarPlay and Amazon Alexa, and then a 3.5 millimeter jack to hook your uh, music to the sound system. Moving on to the center console. Okay, there's a little button right underneath here. You just click and it opens sideways. So if I come up here, get a little better view of it. It does have a sliding tray right here. Then if I take that out, you've got a pretty deep storage. Hey, there are no additional uh, buttons or plugins or anything inside there. Moving on over here, we have the glove compartment. So if I reach over here and pull that down, you got a good size glove compartment down there. Moving up to the mirror up here. Okay, we do have your home link buttons. This is an automatic dimming rear view mirror, so you do have a power button to shut that feature off. Moving up here, we do have your lights on either side. 
And then of course you can set it where you want it to come on with the doors open or doors or not. Uh, button right there, you do have an SOS button and it is covered by a little uh, door, which is kind of neat. Uh, but that will summon a, uh, emergency services if you need them. Okay, and then over here, we just have a sunglass holder. All right, both visors have an extender on them. So if you pull that out right here, you can block extra sun. Okay, and then they are both backlit right here with the light from above. And that is on both sides. Okay, let's uh, we'll quickly step over to the passenger side and then we'll hop in the back quick. All right, and on the passenger side in the front, you've got the same type of door, the same type of that nice soft text material, your buttons right here. And then as on the driver's side, you do have a cup holder and a little bit of storage right here. As you can see on the driver, on the passenger seat here, you have four ways. So it's a tilt uh, lever, and then it is a slide forward and back. So it's four way. All right, let's step in the back. All right, so stepping into the back here, um, you've got your window control right here. You do have a smaller storage area right here, which can double as a bottle holder and, or storage for small things and then a speaker. And then you have a 60-40 split rear seat. Again, looks just as nice as the front does. And to get them down is really easy. You just simply grab this little lever right here, pull, and it tilts forward. One of the things that I really like is, you know, that there's a cargo mat in the back, but it extends across the back of the seats as well, which I think is really nice. All right, let's talk about legroom. All right, so sitting in the back here, um, I've got the seat. That one was adjusted all the way back, but this one was adjusted where we rode uh, earlier, and uh, I've got at least four inches of space here, and then in terms of headroom, I'm not touching. I have more than a finger's width between my head and the ceiling, so very uh, a lot of room right there. The seat back pockets are on both sides, and this one here, if you, you can open it, but you can also you have a zipper opening area that you can stick even more things in, which I like. And then new for 2020 here is they do have two USB outlets and they are 2.1 amps each for charging only. And then you have the center armrest with the dual cup holders. So overall, very nice. One of my uh, things that I really like about this is that the infotainment screen does not just sit up in the middle of nowhere. You've got air vents on top of it. You've got this nicely sculpted area right here. I mean, there is a little bit of a dip in there, but it wouldn't be useful for storage. Things would, I think would just roll right out of it. But, but I do like this overall design right here. Okay, so my favorite thing with the vehicle is really just an accessory. It's the floor mat. Uh, there's a lot of cool things on this vehicle that I like, but I wanted to show you the floor mat, uh, all season weather mat, but the cool part is there's a big giant echo leaf on the floor mat. That's my favorite thing.